Hi, this is Thomas. Welcome to Trigonometry. We're continuing to look at trigonometric functions. We've seen y equals sine x, and now we're moving on to cosine. So we'll begin with y equals cosine x, and look at our graph to 2 pi, and cosine of x at an x value of 0 has a value of 1. So we begin at a value of 1, going down to a value of negative 1 at pi, and then returning to positive 1 at 2 pi. One complete period of y equals cosine x. I can evaluate input values, for example, function of pi is cosine of pi, which is negative 1. And we can see that on our graph where the x value is pi, the y value is negative 1. Another example is the function with a value of pi over 4 equals root 2 over 2 and that value is near the left side of the graph. An input of pi over 4 gives us an output, a y value, of root 2 over 2. And as we saw with sine, the general cosine function includes factors for amplitude, period, and vertical displacement. y equals a cosine bx plus c, and as a reminder, amplitude is represented by the letter a, period relates to b, period is 2 pi over b, and vertical displacement is C. So let's look at an example. Y equals 2 cosine 4x plus 1. We'll calculate our period. Period is 2 pi over b. The b value is 4. 2 pi over 4 simplifies to pi over 2. And we'll graph two complete periods. So we'll go from 0 to pi, which will be two periods given the periodicity of pi over 2. And the vertical displacement is 1, so I'm going to mark my centered line as 1. I have amplitude of 2, so my range is going to be from negative 1 to 3. And also mark in the x-axis into the graph as well. So for cosine, I'm starting at 3. And in one cycle, I reach pi over 2, from 0 to pi over 2. So I'm going to go down at pi over 4. I'll be at negative 1. And then coming back up, pi over 2. Again, I'm going to be at 3. There's one complete period. And to go a second period to extend through pi, I'll come down at 3 pi over 4. I'm going to be at negative 1. Back up, and at pi again at the y value of 3. And I can evaluate the same inputs I did with y equals cosine of x. So for function of pi, my input value of pi is 2 times cosine of 4 pi plus 1, which equals 2 times 1 cosine of 4 pi is 1, 
plus 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. The input value of pi gives me an output value of 3. And function of pi over 4 is 2 times cosine of 4 times pi over 4 plus 1. This is 2 times cosine of pi. Cosine of pi is negative 1 plus 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. An input value of pi over 4 results in an output value of negative 1. And I'll indicate these inputs and outputs on the graph in red. So the input value of pi on the x-axis results in an output value of y equals 3 on the curve. And an input value of pi over 4 on the x-axis results in an output value of y equals negative 1 on the curve. So in this lesson we've seen the cosine function, the basic function y equals cosine x, and the general form y equals a cosine bx plus c. And in our next lesson we're going to look at the tangent function.